I can't believe I'm begging a bird for intel. Take it from a girl who grew up in the wilds. Birds don't provide much conversation. That's for sure. How are you doing, Aloy? Well, better than you, I think. At least I'm not chatting with animals. What's wrong? Mate here flew in yesterday with this in its beak. It's a cord that the Tanakh children use to carry their training swords. The kind of thing one of our young doesn't lose unless something bad has happened. I checked around. Turns out a kid is missing. Wandered off the day before last. Search parties turned up nothing. Gotta tell you, I'm not in the mood to lose one of my people. Especially a child. Let me see that thing. There's a bit of quartz on here. It's probably sand, some dirt, and clay with a red hue. Sand, dirt, and red clay? I know a spot where all three meet, just south of the settlement. Will you meet me there and help check it out? Maybe use that relic of yours. The way things have been going, I can't trust this to anyone else. I'll get there as soon as I can. I can always count on you. Sounds like Yara is feeling isolated. Yara should be around here somewhere. I need to help her look for that missing kid. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. Glad you made it, Aloy. So, here we are. Sand, dirt, red clay. Just like you said from looking at that child's cord. Maybe you could use your relic? See if he was here? Start where Meat is. When she gets squawking like that, she's usually onto something. Okay, I'm on it. There. Small footprints. Faint, but the tracks lead away from here. Yara, I found a trail. Might be the child. Really? Let's go.
Back at Scalding Spear, you said you couldn't trust anyone. What's going on? With Draka out of the way, I thought there'd be peace for a while. Two days ago, I had to put down another upstart. He thought I should have sided with Regala. How many more do I have to kill? When does it end? Good question. Do I detect a note of judgment there? You know your people better than I do. But I have noticed that killing leads to more killing. It's always been the way of the desert. Yeah, but should it be? Do you hear that? Meet to the rescue I'm again. I'm stuck in here! I think the child's in that ancient wreck. I don't want to die here! There you are. You're safe now. No! There's machines out there! I'm ready to fight! Uh-oh. Oh no. One of these things. <laughs> Brace yourself. Right the damn world. Much better. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
was a fight to remember. Well done, Aloy. I should check on Yara and the kid. this away for later. I was so scared. You gave us all a scare. Okay, little one. You're right now. What happened? I, I, I just wanted to go on a hunt. I got lost. And then the machines chased me, and... Hush. You're safe. Just give me a minute with my friend here. Then I'll take you back to Scalding Spear. Th thank you, Commander. At ease, soldier. Those machines would have finished me if you hadn't been here. The kid's okay. That's all that matters. Yes. His parents will be glad to have him back. His squad, too. It's nice to save a life instead of end one. The desert kills, it's true. But every now and then something blooms from it. I'll think about what you said. I'm just glad I could help. About that. Take this. You deserve it. You found the child. Well, you and me. What a team. Stay safe, Yara. And you as well. It's okay. We'll get you back to base as soon as I catch my breath. <gasps> I thought I was dead for sure. Rebecca, you can't lie still. It only make the room worse. Hey, who are these raiders you're talking about? Some of Regala's supporters were hunted down near here. Most fought to the death, but one group had other ideas. They escaped pursuit and raided Tide's Reach. They were last seen out to sea, to the west. The raiders escaped out to sea? We think that's why they raided the settlement. They built a... a flat boat. Bits of wood tied together. A uh, raft? I wouldn't want to go to sea on one. But it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards, steal supplies, and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People here want justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. I could fly out to sea to search for those raiders.
sentry said the raft was heading west. On raft and ocean. Easy to find. I don't see a raft in there. Fugitives must be somewhere else. Wreckage from the raft. Maybe those fugitives didn't make it too far after all. I'll only find out if I go down there. There's someone down on the rocky outcrop. You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach? Where are the others? Holed up on top of the tower across the sea to the west. Where I left them. I thought that they were troops and not, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The Tanakh, the tides reach, think you should all face justice. Then they should come and get me themselves. Here. If you want the justice, the then find the others. West from tides reach. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Those fugitives are in a tower to the west. If they're close to landfall, they could be a threat to the queen. I better take care of them. Those fugitives must be on top of one of those buildings. There. Someone's lit a fire. It must be the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach. There! There's someone flying! Okay, back. That's the Raiders. Who cares? And Bring her down!
make our stand here. Bring that out, Lander. Why did you follow us? All that flies can fall! That's the last of them. Those raiders won't be attacking Tide's Reach again. Or anyone else. To improve your next hunt, let's trade. It sounds pleasing, but not right. Hey, Lloyd, I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands, saving the desert clan from itself. Forcing the commander Takote out of hiding, defending the grove from Regala, and ending her rebellion on the wings of the Ten. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's this song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands. The Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villagers southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here used to be. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plainsaw. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plainsong has one less problem to deal with, and Koray gets to play his melody. Victory for all. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Oh, 
of air. Jax is in trouble. for the stash. You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. Sounds like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. It sounds like that long leg isn't alone There's up there. There's our long leg. Not much point to using us in here. The will fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements.
Now we salvage the part we came to. Show me our prize, Huntress. Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. We stalk, we strike in the hunt and in business. Cora. Aloy? I thought you had left Plain Song. Well, I thought about it, but then I'd have to carry this long leg throat all by myself. You found Jax did. <laughs> that old man can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm gonna need some help. Aloy, can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. You'll see a wide... ...cavity on the oh. instrument. That piece should fit right in. I think it's good to go. A song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. 